All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are tuning into the first episode of the Rush Your Grind Like podcast on this nice Memorial weekend. Obviously, people are going to be traveling and, you know, getting to where they got to go, the barbecues. I think it's barbecue season. It you know? is. <laughs> so, you know, while everybody is traveling, if you're in the car, you need something to watch. Tune into this show right now because we are live. Um, this is a podcast to promote hardworking people's grinds, you know, because, you know, in the city... In the world, there's always somebody grinding, always somebody trying to get their stuff out, right. or, you know, we try to show appreciation for people that work hard. So that's what we do here in the show, while talking all the latest topics that go on in, po- in sports, pop culture, politics, because that's what we do. That's what people talk about, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're doing here. And our first guest that we have on the show, we have a special guest, um, H2O, yeah, yeah. the founder of Boiling for Peace, yeah. the hottest celebrity basketball game in the tri-state area this is the fifth annual game that's coming up which we held saturday june 1st at saint francis college in downtown brooklyn brooklyn you already know yeah. <laughs> all right so without further ado i want to welcome this brother on the show it's a pleasure to have you thank you thank you thank you you're far too kind I'm sorry. <laughs> but um yeah i'm here h2o you know what i'm saying we in the building so i'm guessing you got the name h2o because i know you played ball yeah right yeah. i guess your jump shot must have been water h two O. Yeah, that's Water. uh I got the name from playing basketball, street ball. Um um I got the name when I came back from playing in Romania, I played in the spring league at Hoops in the Sun. Mm-hmm. Um that's usually played out in Orchard Beach in the summertime. It's a it's a dope uh tournament. Uh, you know, they're actually gonna be in their twentieth year this year. So um it, they're stable in New York as well too. You know what I mean? Everybody knows about Hoops in the Sun, they always do some some dope stuff. They always have great uniforms and great giveaways and stuff like that. They always, they're innovative with what they do. Um, you know, so I played in there when I came back from Romania. One of the first games I played, and I had about 12 threes, had 57 points in the, uh, in the spring league wow. game. And, so uh, James wow. Harden out there. Yeah. James Harden on the court out there. Yeah, man. So, like, the, the, the announcer name was Uncle G-Stacks. Every time I started touching the ball, he started saying H2O, H2O. And um, that name kind of stuck with me. So, like, anywhere I was going, I guess good news travels. Everywhere I was going from, from this tournament to that tournament, they knew about it. And I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm on to something. So mm-hmm. I just kept that into, made that my name. I mean, that was my name. And I made it into my business. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I do trainings and, and, and basketball clinics and events through the name H2O Basketball. And then I also do some music stuff and have, like, artists and all that other stuff. And I create a lot of uh, different content and a lot of places where they can have a, a platform to perform and all that. Got you, and it's crazy because this brother actually went to high school with my sister, Taz. Shout out to you. Yeah, shout out to Taz Nima. So, you know, you played ball in high school. Yeah, yeah. And you were starting. Um, of course, man. You starting point guard. <laughs> can't do the bench, man. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> now, shout out to my players. If you're coming off the bench, you're still a good player, man. Like, you, know, you made but, the team for yeah, a reason. you made yeah. the team for a reason. You know what I'm saying? You didn't even introduce your, 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 your host here, man. Well, like, oh, you know, the people man. that watch the show, they, they, they oh, know. okay. They you know. know. They know the vibe. Like, they know the vibes. They know this is my, you know, we did the show in college. Okay. On my solo show, The Real Little Show. Mm-hmm. Um, Jen, Melanie, we <laughs> out here. Yeah, wow. man. Shout out to the people watching on my live exactly. and all that too. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. So um, how much points you average in high school? Shit. What was uh, your stat line like? <laughs> high school. Wow. It's Eons time, ago. Man. Nah, so yeah, no, no, like, oh, I, 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 but a real ball player knows his stats. You know what I'm saying? I did. I averaged 18.8 my senior. Year. I only played. People don't really know. I only played one year of high school basketball. Wow. What? I didn't play my freshman year. My freshman year, I went to a school called 72. Um, it was on 134 and got brewed. That's where, like, 50 Cent and everybody grew up. Yeah. Um, it's in Rochdale. Rochdale Village is over there. Um, so my middle school went to the ninth grade. And that was one of the last years that they had middle school going all the way to the ninth grade. So um, where you can do your first year of high school. So I stayed in middle school, and that's something that kind of saved me with my grades because I got great grades, um, you know, from you know from my first year in high school. So when I actually got to high school, Campus Magnet, in the tenth grade, um, people thought I was a freshman, but I wasn't. I was a sophomore. So um, my great, like having freedom and going in and just, you know, that was my first year actually yeah. of high school. To me, 
it was not good. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't good because I was just all over the place, cutting, doing all yeah, that stupid stuff. Facts. Freshman so, year chronicles. Yeah, <laughs> man. So facts. I know about that. Freshman. It should have been my freshman year, but it was my sophomore year yeah, chronicles. So it was kind of wild. But I had to, like, I started coming from behind, like, as far as um, having to pick up my grades, having to acclimate to high school and stuff like that. So it was a huge adjustment from middle school to an actual high school, and especially high school like that. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't that's not known for their like academics and stuff you know so but I had to regroup I knew that in order to play ball I had to pass my classes so yeah. I switched up the narrative and started going hard but then after that I broke my my right wrist playing in a tournament outside of school mm -hmm. broke my right wrist had me out for the whole year for for JV mm -hmm. and then didn't didn't cuz varsity season I had already started and then um, my junior year at Jackson, well, Campus Magnet, I broke my left arm. Wow. Damn. <laughs> so I'm like, at this point, I'm like, yo, I'm not meant to go to this school. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It's something bad luck. And I didn't play my whole junior year. Actually, I forged the doctor's note. To, uh, I was supposed to come back to being able to come to computers. I said, I like, I like forged it and gave it to my coach. God rest his soul, uh, Charles Grammy. He was the winningest coach in public school history before his passing. Now, you know, uh, Ron Aclario recently passed him, and um, uh, he's the coach at Cardozo High School. But, um, yeah, but I broke my left arm, couldn't play, and then, like, I said that I could play, cause I, but I could go back to computers. My business and computer. I was in business and computers, yeah. Yeah. and um, from there, like, I was playing, but I couldn't really play. Like my junior year, that was like at the end. I played like two or three games, but I was I was fucked up. So <laughs> what, yeah. what made you, despite the injuries, because you yeah, know, yeah. when you get into the top, right, you always gonna have those minor setbacks. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I experienced it. I'm pretty sure y'all experienced it. You know, what made you say, all right, you know what, I'm gonna do this. You know, I'm going to withstand the storm, I'm going to weather the storm, and mm -hmm. I'm going to actually, I'm going to make this work. Nah, it, well, going, I had no other choice, man. Like, you know, imagine, people knew me even in high school from playing in, like, tournaments and stuff. So, like, but it's a different, when you're on varsity and you're playing at your high school, it's a whole nother, like, from playing in tournaments to playing right. at your high like school. Because you're representing your high school. Yeah, you're yeah, representing like... your, your school. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I wanted that. So, my senior year... That's all I had. I went all out and I did my thing. Like I averaged like 18.8, eight assists, and a couple steals, couple rebounds, and I, I, I made honorable mention all city, made all queens, and um, I did my thing. You know, what I'm saying my senior year, but that was my only year that I played, and my grades were okay. They wasn't like, like you know, grades that would get me into a four-year school right away. So I had to go the junior college route. You know what I'm saying? And then. Uh, so going the junior college route, I went to Sullivan Community College for one year. I killed that, you know. But even within, I was gonna go to a um, y'all getting exclusive stuff because I, I usually don't get to talk. <laughs> I usually don't get to talk about like my basketball career, yeah. like doing all this community stuff and, and doing stuff for the community. People always want to talk about that, so it's like y'all yeah. getting some uh, some some some, exclusive. some real some real stuff. Yeah, so, real that's special right now. Yeah. Facts. So like when when I went to junior college, I went to Sullivan Community College, uh, you know. I was gonna go to a prep school. You know, prep schools were really big back in the days. So like, I was gonna go there to get my grades better, so that I can probably go to a Division One school. And um, things didn't work out. So I'm home, damn near Labor Day, um, and um, I, I like dropped all the junior colleges that I had that I was gonna go to because I didn't want to go to junior college. I wanted to go to prep school. So mm -hmm. that's what I was gonna do. When that fell through, I missed out on a lot of opportunities. So um, my guy Tippy who I work out with, who I used to work out with a lot, um, he helped me get into to school. So um, my aunt was like, you can't stay here. You're going to have to go somewhere. So um, I went to Sullivan Community College. And um, going there, I wasn't recruited to go there. So I'm fresh out of high school. Junior college, this play, you could be 27, 30 playing on the team. So I had some old-ass dudes playing. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm like a true freshman, skinny and frail. So I came in, and I'll never forget this. I remember the first day we took um, – the coach didn't really know me. He's like, yeah, I'll take him on. Like, he can come on. Like, you know, but he really wasn't boo cool who and about me, like, because he didn't really know who I was. So mm -hmm. I came there. I remember the first day we had a picture day, like, for the team. I didn't even get a jersey. Dang. They had me in, like, a, a warm-up, like, an old practice – 
oh, they jersey got you with the warm up? and a practice oh. jersey with like a four X and all that. And I'm like, yo, what is it? But that made me like, yo, okay, I'm gonna show this dude. Yeah. And I went from like zero to one hundred. Like literally, they did an article on on me afterwards saying from some like not even supposed to be here to being the MVP of the team and I led them to a uh, uh, conference uh, finals and all that we went there um, we lost to Suffolk County um, but I did my thing and um, I I was supposed to go to Albany after that the head coach who I had wound up leaving Chad B and shout out to coach B and I, I always talk to him and, and uh, he's out in Vegas now but um he left and went out to Vegas to coach again and left me high and dry. So like wow. I'm like, all right, let me figure it out. And I wound up at Chafee in, in Rancho Cucamonga, California. Wow, went I there heard of for one, yeah, <laughs> Chafee Community College. They you know they get a lot of players in. Went there, did my thing, made all conference, and then I went to uh, Sacramento State. Got a full ride to play there. Played there two years. My senior year, I led them in scoring in the Big Sky Conference and. Um, I went on to uh, play overseas professional and NBA D League and, and and then street ball and N one and ball up and did all this other stuff and now I'm uh you know I still play in different leagues and stuff because I love the game and it's like whatever you love and what's your passion you'll still do like mm -hmm. until you can't do it no more so I'll probably be one of those dudes in them in them leagues when they 60 still playing basketball you know what I'm saying that keeps my mind going you know i think that everybody needs something they need a passion exactly. everybody has to have a passion you know yeah. what i'm saying mm -hmm. and that's my passion playing ball it got me everything i i, I own and he, everything got me free education got me to travel the world you know what i mean i'm still able to educate and help these kids out and yeah. and everything like that so you know having my own h2o basketball team and stuff too they'll be playing that ball up for peace too so you'll get to see them hopefully i get to coach them this year the last Three years I haven't got to coach them, they lost. So, like, gotcha. you know, so I'm gonna coach them this year. No shade, no so, shade. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, before, sorry to be long winded. No, no, you're that, good. Course, yeah. So, before, you know, obviously I'm gonna dive into the Baller for Peace, you know, that's mm -hmm. a big part of the show. But before I do, you know, since we was in your collegiate level story, yeah, me, Melanie, and Jen, we had a big debate on our last show oh. um, about college athletes be, being paid. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Now, I want to know. I want to know your thoughts on that. Oh, uh, my thoughts is definitely it should be paid. You know what I'm saying? Like I think that you know they saying, oh, okay, this school doesn't get that much revenue, or they may not get. Th so yeah, you do it on on levels. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? You have A list, C list, and, and A list, B list, and C list contracts, but you gotta pay them. Yeah. Cause you're getting paid. Like NCAA, they're nonprofit. I don't know how. Like, but they sell. Like, where does all that money go? Yeah. Like, you have, you have, you know, every game, home game. It's like you're running a business, yeah. right? You're running a, a, a for-profit business, right? Because someone's getting that money. Mm -hmm. The yeah. school's getting the money. Like, you know, you're giving these little scholarships that pays for. It's like me. Put it like this, right? I'm going to break it down. Like, if I say I'm going to do an event, right? Or if I say... I'm doing a, a, a basketball tournament, right? I'm doing a basketball tournament and I'm making it a money tournament. Mm -hmm. And I have a home team, right? Everybody else has to pay to get into it. You have to pay 500. You got to pay 500. Your team got to pay 500. All that money goes into a pot, right? Yeah. And then my home team, that's like me charging my home team. I'm the one who started it. So it's like the NCAA is starting all this. So like when you are at a school, your school is pretty much should be free to whoever you want to make it free to, right? So, like, that's null and void. So you can't say that, oh, I'm giving you this money. No, you're actually giving them nothing because it doesn't, you know, it's, the school's already running, right? Exactly. So these certain players aren't, you know, paying for books. These books are free. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to pay. Yeah, or like, you know what I'm saying? That's the G. Who makes what, how much school costs? Like, why does it cost 40000 to go to school? Like, yeah. why? Like, it doesn't cost that much to... You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't exactly. pay these teachers that exactly. much money. Yeah, exactly. So where is this money going? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that's the biggest bunch of crock. Like, I, like the NCAA been getting away with murder yeah, for years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Corrupt. And I want my money for the for them <laughs> games. They owe me money because they put you in video games, too. And I, I missed that deadline. I was supposed to get, like, the deadline... I missed it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna open that back up. All of my um, teammates got their money too. They had 
sent the link out to all the players that uh, had played in like EA, all those games that had you in there, yeah. had your likeness and everything, but didn't, but don't put your like your name, name on the back. back. They mm-hmm. put your number. So like. So wait, you're in a video. I'm game? in a video game. Yeah. Yo. Wow. Tell I'm in a video game for Sacramento Did State. You get money? Yeah. So yeah, they got all that. I got a matter of fact. I got a fi- matter of fact. Hip hop gamer. We gotta play. We gotta uh. <laughs> We gotta uh, <laughs> play that game. I think I can't remember. It's NCAA. Cause they used to make that game. They used Yo, to make the I don't NCAA know why they game. stopped. I don't know why they stopped that. They stopped that. because they had why. to play the. They had to start paying the players. players. That's why wow. they stopped it's making it. Can. They doing everything they can not to, to pay the players. Not to pay the That's players. That's crazy. So they used to have the NCAA. Remember like how the yeah. NCAA, March Madness exactly. and all that stuff. They used to, they used to have all those games. I used to yeah. like it better than Madden. Yeah. That's a fact. Exactly. So they stopped. They stopped having those games and everything because they had to pay. Like these these gaming systems and these gaming companies had to start paying the players, and they're like, "Nah, I'm not paying them." Wow, you know what That's I'm saying? Crazy. Little Rock, Arkansas, but, start going. I'm not money, gonna play. But I'm not gonna pay. Yeah. you making millions off of off of, off of these players. Like, like it's like like again, it's a business, but they're not paying anybody. Like that's yo. Imagine I'm like yo, just come out, just come out. Yeah, you could work, you could work right the whole thing for years, and I don't have to pay you anything. Yeah. Nah, that's just they how it paid, is. Man. And I know these coaches are getting bread. Though. They don't make any of course, sense. Bread. She would know. She would know. Because she, 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 um, yes. like, she, she, um, she the um, manager of the football team. Like one of the um, assistant managers. In Cortland? Yeah. In Cortland. So she, she knows. Yeah, they be getting paid, man. It's a, it's a lot like of Nick money. Like Nick Saban. They be, oh, all you know, the they, cats, they got yachts and how, boats. How, and like how, millions. How you pay these coaches all this money? They're not even doing nothing. You, <laughs> you pay them all this money, and then you don't want to give the play. Like, when they be, when schools give players money, like, you know, and they, they find out there that, yo, you giving them, how else are you going to get a player? Like, how yeah. else, why, why would this, okay, he's just picking the school because of the school, like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, it's popping like, and all, but like, I like this on, school, but <clears throat> at the end of the day, why am I gonna go there? And I'm a yeah. top player. Like I'm a n- rank number one, two in the nation. Why am I gonna go to this school for what? Like it automatically puts certain schools in a disadvantage. Like you know what I'm saying? We're all Division One, right? But why are you only hear the same schools? Duke, North Carolina. Like why do you only hear yeah. that? Because those these are the ones that are brain. These people, these kids are brainwashed to go to these schools because they're winning. But why are they winning? Because they have a name and they want the same. My thing is, though, what I would say is I do believe that players should get paid. However, I do not believe that it will stop the corruption in the NCA, And I mean that because I do believe if players do get paid, there's always going to be a coach trying to get over the player. You know, let me slide a couple extra. Yeah, we're getting paid now. But let me slide another $1,000 to get you to come here. I feel like it won't eliminate all that. But that's just saying how, you know, when you're dealing with a problem, yeah. You know, not everything is, is always going to be an issue. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, rule changes in sports. You, you fix mm-hmm. a rule, but it's always going to be an issue. I feel like yeah. with that, with this whole topic of players getting paid, I believe that it will satisfy mm-hmm. a lot of issues, but it's always going to be those one or two issues. Yeah, like, like the bench know. warmers. Like, you know, nah, what, that's what, what I say. Gonna, how much a, B, C. <laughs> like, A list. Like, yeah. we're all players, right? But you have LeBrons, yeah. and then you have. Cephalosis and stuff <laughs> like that, like, you know what I'm saying? But they all, they all in the league. Yeah. yeah. But it's levels. It's levels within levels. All it, like in anything, like you in know life. what I'm saying? In life, period. Like you can be, you can be on, uh, you can be like a, uh, I'm gonna just say in the radio game, like you know what I'm saying? You can be a, a show on Power One Hundred Five, on Power One Hundred Five, but you're not the Breakfast Club, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you're, I'm on Power 105, yeah. like you know what I'm saying? I'm at High 97, but I'm not on the Ebro, Ebro in the morning, morning show, yeah. like or I'm not. But being in these, being in here and being in, in all these different levels and, and being and, and being able to see that while you, and even how they treat certain people, like you know what I'm saying? Even in schools, like you know what I mean? Like a dude who who's a, a athlete and all that, you get treated different. Like, you feel different. Like, you know what I'm saying? Playing on a basketball team, I was different. I wasn't the same as everybody else. But when when I went back to school and I like I had to just go to school, I almost had anxiety. 
Mm-hmm. Like real talk. Like I almost had like I didn't know what was going on. There was anxiety because I didn't have practice afterwards. I didn't have nothing. I, w- I was just going there to finish my degree. Mm-hmm. So like when I when I went back, and like you know, you, your coaches they don't, they don't really care about you. Like you know what I'm saying. You went back and just like yo, it was different, yo. Like nah, it's different. That's facts because even when after football season ended, like and especially with the seniors in my class, like they would go back and they're like. Coaches just say hi and then bye. Like, That's they don't it. Care. I'm just like, okay. damn. It's like, bad. It's, it's like, it, it make your stomach drop. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, still, like, but still, talk. like, being in school, it's just yeah. like the season was, like, a couple months ago. Now and you lost. Done. Like, yeah, you, that. It's when just you, like, damn. Like, like, we're a NARP. What do we do now? Like, no practice. There was That's nothing. a fact. Like, yo, that was Like, one even of, with me, because I had to go to practice, too. I'm uh-huh. like, what do we... Like, I got to wake up on Saturdays and no games. No games. What is going on? Exactly. It's weird. Yeah, but it felt, it felt good waking up and not having to wake up early. I mean, it's pros and cons. Pros and cons. But yo, when you're when you're an athlete, Division One or whatever, your life is like, like that's why I know like a lot of these NBA guys they can go broke easy after mm-hmm. they're out of the league. Cause they don't even know how to control themselves. Like, yeah, you the have a schedule, finances. Like, yeah. like you have a schedule. Like, like I used to have five a.m. workouts in school. Then I had school starting at eight o'clock. I'm in school all the way to like damn near two o'clock. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then after school, I had. Uh, study hall. After study hall, I had Headless. practice. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then when do you have time for yourself? And this is every day. Yeah. So then you go home. You just want to chill, son. Facts. You got to. You did all your home. It's like you're a robot. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Nah, for a little. Is. Then when you out of school, you graduate or, or you you know when that season's over, what do you do? Nice. You like yo, I got all this freedom, Free but I don't even know what the hell to do. Like so it. it it was an adjustment for me. I know it's probably like for a lot of other athletes as well too, but it was a real adjustment for me, like graduating college and, and finishing up because it's like, yo, what do you do? Yeah. Like, yo, okay, I'm gonna try to go overseas now, but like, yo, like, what am I supposed to be doing? Like, that yeah. shit was a yeah. culture shock, man. So how did how did um this event like what made you start up this event known as Balling for Peace? Um, Balling for Peace. Um, came from it came from the whole Mike Brown and Eric Gardner situation. I saw mm-hmm. like a lot of violence going on and like senseless violence. Like it was like it was a weird time. Like five years ago, it was like weird. Like, you know, yeah. police choking dudes out and like right. what's it was a lot. What's going on? And then I mean, nothing it's happened. Getting worse too. Yeah, it is getting worse. It, it, it's, it's 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 insane. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? If you look at every I don't really watch the news too much because every time I watch the news, it's just it's always something. depressing. It's depressing. Like, yeah. That's it's what depressing. I'm saying. Like I only watch it to know the weather. Exactly. So, like while <laughs> I look at my <laughs> weather channel, tomorrow. I look at it, exactly. right, cool, I know what to wear. Like I you know My parents watch that faithfully. I can't watch that. It's bad though, son. Every time you they won't like balling for peace like not no pun intended but like they won't they won't put that out there like that they don't show the good stuff stuff. stuff. they'll show all the negative stuff or if a white boy got saved by a dog they'll show that oh no that's that's a fact that's a a fact it's crazy like so you you try to search for your demographic when you're like when you're you're you know, promoting your events and everything like that and they like yo why don't you go to this news outlet or something like that like go here like I would, but they don't really pick up stories that are good. Yeah. Because people want to see negative stuff. Like, and it's weird within, like, our brains as human beings. Like, you know, I don't like, I, like, kids are filming fights and stuff like that now. Like, that shit yeah. is crazy to me. Like, to film a Faithfully. fight and not help somebody or stop exactly. the fight. Like, I was always the dude, yo, no, no, chill, chill, chill. Like, yo, come on, man. Like, yeah. I was that star. dude. Like, now that exactly. dude is That's getting exactly knocked out. Like, exactly. you know what I'm saying? That, like, that breakup person getting knocked yeah. out and into the. It, it's, it's, a, it's, it's sad and it's like, you know, like we're kind of losing touch with what's going on early yeah. on, like real quick. Like, when I saw that, and because I work with kids and stuff, when I saw that, I'm like, yo, this is mind boggling to me. Like, I can't understand how this is going on, you know? But um, we got to switch the narrative. We got to switch what's going on. We have to change up all that you know what i'm saying we definitely have to yeah i totally agree i mean the the youth is the future we are so you know if we can get their minds occupied i always feel that's important you know yeah. getting the the children's mind occupied because if their mind is occupied they didn't want to have time to get into trouble mm-hmm. and you know put themselves in predicaments to get in trouble mm-hmm. so i think that that's a dope um thing to actually do it for the kids you yeah. know what i'm saying i got a free youth clinic for the kids from 12 to 2 p.m before the event even starts at um 
at Bowling for Peace. I'm actually going to send out the link um, tomorrow, which will be seven days. We've got like a seven-day countdown that we're going to uh, unroll, un yeah, unveil um, tomorrow as well, too. So that's going to start up, but um, we're going to put out that link. And it's limited spots for the for the uh, youth clinic as well, too. So, um, yeah, you know, that'll be out tomorrow. And um, it will be a way for the, the kids to sign up and stuff like that as well, too. Um, so look out for that it's ages 6 to 16 that they can come out and um, get some free basketball skills and drills and all that other stuff. Nice. Now they love that. Yeah, yeah. So um, I noticed um, Fat Boy FSC was at your event. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen a couple of photos. Like, how did this event start blowing up? Like, when did it took off? Because I know I had to start from, like, you know, underground and, and getting it to where's at now how, where did you catch your first break well i um my first event i had i had jim jones i had okay. mac wild little mama uh oh fred the godson <laughs> uh murder mook math hoffa uh t-rex i had a lot of battle rappers because I, I like battle rap so like my brother battle those, rap those are those are my guys like i want to see them i wanted to um I, those were my stars. So like battle rapping, like like I rock with Smack. Like he used to like like yo, who you want to see battle? Like you know what I'm saying? And I would tell him like one of my favorite battlers was uh conceited, conceited. Um, conceited. he's on yeah. like wilding out now. Yeah. He, yeah. he don't even it. rock with battle rap no more. He's like, uh, <laughs> he's I'm making a bag, man. Yeah. I don't like to <laughs> crack jokes. Yeah. Like, but he was he's dope. Like I um I loved his like his wittiness, but I. Every battler has a, a special place for me. Like, you know what I mean? There's different styles and preferences mm -hmm. that uh, I, I rock with. So I had a lot of them dudes out, um, you know, uh, first first event. And then, like, a lot of the up-and-coming people who, like, on Love and Hip Hop and everything. I kind of, like, Bowling for Peace has been, like, a stable. And kind of, like, broke a lot of artists and stuff and, and a lot of people and gave a lot of people, uh, resurrected a lot of people as well, too. Like, you know what I mean? Who wasn't really doing too much. And, um... They all came out. We had News One cover it the first year. Um, last year, Fox Five had did a, a, a big interview with me, and um, you know, you just know about the, the different networks that are doing stuff with you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I, you know, so from year one, it was pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? It was just the concept. I guess everybody felt the same way, and it's a lot of people who could have done a Balling for Peace who just didn't do a Balling for Peace. You know what I'm saying? But now, now it's like disgusting with how many people are doing like celebrity games for nice. no reason and like you know what I'm saying and um, it's just whatever like it's it's kind of weird too but you know um, that's not sometimes it's not even people's lanes they don't even know the first thing about what they even talking about sometimes yeah. you know what I mean but they'll do it just cause you know yeah. and this ain't a just cause thing this is something that I don't have to do. Mm -hmm. But that I want to do, and that I feel like it's a, a must and it's needed in our community. You know what I'm saying? Bringing Those be the best. Yeah, mm -hmm. bringing everybody together and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's not enough of it. You know. I'm glad that you said um, that. Like, a lot of celebrities are doing like different basketball games because I don't know if you guys know, but like YG and Nipsey used to have like the celebrity basketball yeah. game, and it used to be like red and blue. Mm -hmm. So, like, my question would be like, do you see yourself like expanding outside of the New York State to like do Bowling for Peace like elsewhere, like? I think, like, if you go to Cali, you could do it at the Nipsey Hustle Park yeah. or something yeah, like that. Course. And then, like, do you see yourself doing that? Of course. That's that's the uh, that's the, the end goal. You know what I'm saying? To go into different, like, I'm going to do something in Chicago, too. Like, if you look on my gram, like, I was there a couple months ago, and I kind of did some uh, some work out there. So, like, we, we, we already got that in play. Like, you know, cool. but, like, I, I try to... I don't really talk about things until it's in, in motion. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really like to pitch something without really like the, the goal or yeah. like even with, with a, even with a bowling for pieces i don't talk about it talk about it until i locked in a venue and locked in a date like you yeah. know what i'm saying that's yeah. just how i am but those are all in the works like you know what i'm saying that's those plays are already in motion so you're going to see bowling for peace going to different states going to different um different uh yeah, different states and hopefully just some different countries and yeah, just, that'd be just cool. worldwide. Worldwide, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Facts. Bowling for Peace worldwide. I feel like you know it's needed everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Not just here in New York. Yeah. Like, do you see yourself like working with like other celebrities? I would love to. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but what happens a lot is um, 
when like I, I would even say I w- I would literally take the cha- celebrity game out of celebrity name out of my charity yeah. event because it's sometimes it's, it's hard working with some of them mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying and like and you know like you'll you'll have a date and then they're like yo I gotta check my schedule like yeah. I understand that but you can put that on your schedule like you yeah. know what I'm saying like, especially yo so far out I don't know where I'm gonna you can put that on your it's schedule to make right. sure that. This is on your schedule for yeah. that time, like yeah. you know what I'm saying, and um, that's that's how I am. If I want to do something, I'm gonna do it. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying, like you asked me to come here, I said I'm gonna be here. Like you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. like I don't, you know, I look okay, cool, I'm good, I'm gonna be here. Like you know what I'm saying, like, and I feel like some people get too big for for their own good. Like you know what I'm saying, yeah, they know yeah, they so humble like, themselves. Yeah, you gotta yeah. be humble. You gotta, humble. Humble. You gotta <laughs> exactly. stay humble. Like I can, I can be. On a hot 97 or a power 105, and still come and do any all these podcasts and everything because this is what made Bowling for Peace hot. Yeah, like you know, what I'm saying I was on DS the first interview I was I did on DSN, DSN radio. Like, um, I don't know if I can mention other, yeah, you know, y'all cool with that? Yeah. yeah, all right, cool. Like, you know, what I'm saying I went there, did that. Shout out to my dude, DWI. Um, I did you know, DTF, I did all that stuff. I, I made an internet run. You know what I'm saying? I, I like ran and, and was everywhere. Like anybody yeah. who had a blog or interview, uh, anything, I would go on corners and like, you got something you want a corner, we doing that. Cause somebody that don't, they don't know me, they know you. Right mm-hmm. now they know me cause they, you featuring me on it, your joint. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And yeah. that's, I took the old school grind, the old school approach. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I was like a, a pitch away from getting a street team and having a class. <laughs> like just having, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, with the internet, you don't really got to do that too yeah. much. But um, yeah. you know, you could sponsor ads on Facebook now. Uh, Nowadays, Instagram you could just shit, so do you can stay home. But um, that's that's how I did it. Like I just felt like being everywhere was the way. I was going to parties. Like the first time I did bowling for, I didn't know how to really like promote it because I'm not a promoter, but I know how to get people out. You know what I'm saying? Like some promoters, they kind of get tight. Like with me, and I'm like, yo, bro, I'm just here for a couple months, man. You, <laughs> you, you know? can have your promote, promote the uh, uh, flag back. You know what I'm saying? I be trying to, I, I still, I try to like get together with different promoters, and um, uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm away. I'm gonna see what's up. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we'll see what's up, bro. I see you do this. Like, let's do this <laughs> together. You want, you want to help out or no? Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Either really yes or no. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, yo, I'm, a, I'm gonna see what. Like, mm-hmm. how did that make sense? All right, cool. I'll just do it by myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, I be here now. You see me? I ain't got a whole big fan base or entourage, or entourage yeah. or anybody mm-hmm. with me. I pull up by myself, like you yeah. know what I'm saying. Like I, I believe in that because I I believe in what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying. Same. Like I don't need to work with somebody else's schedule to make plans that I want to do. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. So um, I feel so inspired right now, <laughs> especially so, coming from college. It's crazy. Thanks. So, so I right, so anything. um you have the big three, right? I don't know if you watch the big three. That's yeah. Ice Cube's big um league. I actually like the league. I think that's you know, I, I think love it. more people should watch it. You know, I like it. Like you know what I'm saying? Basketball, I'm it's a basketball dope. fan. Season is over. That's something I can look forward to. Can't wait to answer this question. So <laughs> basically what I'm trying to go with this question is do you see yourself making this event into something bigger, like on a big three status? Where like you could pull something off, like that off. I think you could do it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I definitely could. I mean, speaking of the big three, like I, I played uh, three on three basketball too. Like, and I played all over from three on three basketball. I played in Canada, played in Puerto Rico, and world tours. I went to Mexico City playing three on three basketball this year. Well, twenty twenty Olympics, three on three basketball will be an Olympic sport. So like three on three came a long way. So everybody's like riding the three on three wave yeah. now, but I've been doing that since like 2011. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. really on the ground with three on three basketball to the point where it's a, it's 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 marketable. People used to three on three. If I got it. Like you know what I'm saying? They used to have hoop it up back in the day. Like hoop it up was something I used to love to do too. But you know, I'm, I'm, that's probably like y'all are like what the hell is I'm hoop like, it up? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> but they had something called hoop it up. It was a big three on three tournament and. All I wanted nothing but to play in that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And um, um, that was dope. So I, I love three and three. I think the strategy of three and three basketball is way, you have to be way smarter than playing a five on five game as well, too. Because 
every possession counts. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's 10 seconds or whatever, 12 seconds on a shot clock and everything. You have every possession counts, literally. Like, so, you know, and then you don't want to be getting your, your ass bust on the court. Like, you know what I'm saying? You guarded me and I'm just killing you. Like, you could see it. Like, it's yeah, a half court. Yeah. You got to stop. Yo, stop your man, bro. Like, exactly. in a five on five, you Ain't could, no screens you could like be that, nonchalant that, that line, yeah. bringing up the ball. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could do all your little three on three. It's quick. And then they have a, a game. Like, so game was 21 by ones and twos. 10 minutes, whoever wins, like, you know what I'm saying? Moves on. Got to win by two. It, I like it. Like, you know, and for the big three, is is dope. I love that it gives opportunity for like the veterans. former NBA yeah. players to still play ball because you, you could still play, you know what I'm saying, and make some money. So, like, and, and that, to, for, the, for the United States to not have another really, like, prominent league is insane like you know what i'm saying for you when you leave the nba and you're 35 and like you're considered old like you know what i'm saying like yeah. what like you know what i'm saying like it's crazy so i i commend what ice cube is doing um i rock with that and um the big i watched the big three yeah, as well it. um and they got a new the tv deal Lamar, with uh yeah, yeah it's gonna be dope it's, they got Lamar cbs Odom, um they're supposed to be playing this Lamar, year yep, i'm fast. glad to see the brother actually like you know yeah. You know we all he went through a lot. He brother did. went through That's a lot. Dope. I was worried he made for the brother. Back. Yeah, he made it back. so I'm yeah. I'm happy that the brother is gonna be able to play. And all um, like you right, they got a new TV deal. They had a draft. It was and actually on TV. Yeah, with arenas gonna be playing yeah. this year. So the big three is dope, man. It's, it's definitely dope. Um, you see Ice Cube trying to break the barriers. I, I'm watching what he's doing. You gotta watch. You I'm gotta watching watch, what he's doing. You gotta watch people make plays, right? So a lot of people be making plays like. I feel like I'm one of those people who make plays and stuff like that, and, and people watch my moves. Whether they say it or not, they watch my moves. Like, you know what I mean? And I know that they watch my moves. Same, you know what same. I'm saying? Like, I see, I know it, because they make the same play. Like, you know what I mean? They try to make the same play that mm -hmm. I made, but they're not me. So, like, when, when people are doing certain things, you know, I never worry. You can do, you can literally do everything that I do. Like, do it the same way and do but you're not me, like, you know, you don't, and I'm not you, and you, I'm not you, and I'm, you know what I'm saying? So we, we're all individuals who, you know, you come up with different concepts in your head, but it only it will work because you are behind it, yep. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yep. people don't understand how much you got to push mm -hmm. when you're doing events and stuff like that, when you're doing anything. Like, to get up in the morning and put your clothes on, you, you know what I'm saying? It's they, a lot of work. It's a lot of work, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some, some days you don't feel like doing nothing. Some days you just want to chill. Yeah. But knowing in the back of your head, like, yo, I got this goal. Like, I set goals for myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm very goal-driven. Like, you know what I mean? Like, even from, like, elementary school, I want to play for my elementary team. Like, you know what I'm saying? Junior high school, I want to be the captain and play on my basketball team. High school, same thing. Wanted to play on my basketball team. College, I wanted to play D1. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to play pro ball. You got to set goals. And literally, my life has went like that. And I'm, I'm reaching them every every step of the way. Like, I still, yeah. I got a lot of goals to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's what drives me every day. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we all out here, the, be the biggest thing you can do is set goals for yourself. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, the event is bef the day before summer jam. Yep, yep. So, you know... What are some like performances that you are looking forward to? Oh, so the question is, are you going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like um, at Summer Jam. Yeah. Oh, you know I'm going. He knows. Oh, I'm <laughs> like, I, I didn't know you was going. I'm yeah. like, what? yeah, yeah know, I'll be backstage and all that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to Hot Nine, man. I damn near worked there now, but <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but um, now we uh, we're gonna have actually they they PR doing the, the red carpet for Balling for Peace with the media and everything like that. Um, you know, we kind of making these plays, and make, you know, little by little, making real connections, and hopefully that this could be a stable uh, moving forward. Like, I, I, it was by accident that, you know, uh, Balling for Peace was um, actually the, the day before Hot 97. Um, Summer Jam, I didn't even know when they was doing it. You know what I'm saying? I just did it. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, then, and then when you see that move, you got to make that play. Like, you know what I'm saying? You see that, okay. Why not? Nah, and before that, exactly. keep going yeah, that before nice. that, I was like, okay, high nine seven, bowling for peace. Let's make it together. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I reached out and made it happen. And, you know, they, they throwing some tickets to raffle off and all that other stuff for, for people at the game. So, you want to go to Summer Jam, come to Bowling for Peace. <laughs> Maybe we might even, you buy a Bowling for Peace ticket, you'll get a Summer Jam ticket too. We might even throw that in there. Some, That'd be know. a cool thing. Maybe we'll do that for Memorial Day. We'll do that for Memorial Day. We'll do something like that. You know what I mean? So check out the Balling for Peace page. Memorial Day, we'll do something like that. You know what I mean? That's dope. 
All yeah, right, on so. the, on the spot. You know, but um, yeah, you, you you see certain moves, you see certain plays, you just you just make them happen. You know what I mean? And um, that's how I live. Like I don't know how y'all 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 get down. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I definitely y'all. You know, people already know about me. That's <laughs> in my grind. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm right. saying? I'll be grinding all the time, radio shows and podcasts, you know. What about your grind? What about your grind? I mean, I'm out here just living for time being. But then, like, slowly but surely, I do got goals. Okay. You know, like, every day, I'm just like, you know. What are you passionate about? Um, right now, I'm more passionate about, like, career-wise, it's more like marketing, but I know who I want to work for. Okay. So, it's like, just, I I had a chance, you know, I had a little something with them, Mm -hmm. but it didn't work out right, but then it's like, I'm just waiting for that next opportunity, just like, go full force with them. Whatever you want to do, that's all you got to do, go full force. If that's something you want to do, make it happen. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, literally, just make it happen. Like, and if you don't want to take no for an answer, you don't got to take no for an answer. Like, why not you? You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever that is, I don't even know what it is that you want to do, but... Why not you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got to get the job. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Somebody has to do it. Yeah. So, do it. I mean, right now, it's no job, but yeah, I'm going to create yeah. one. Okay. That's a fact. What about you? I'm trying to work for a D1 or a professional football team. So, right now, I'm working on getting myself at Northern Illinois. Currently, he's texting me right now, the Northern Illinois coach. So, I'm trying to be out there to intern for the operations um, position. So, okay. And the fact that, like, being... At Corlin and working for the football team, I was the only black female. Mm-hmm. So, like, that was kind of an advantage because, you know, we bring diversity and, like, it was just, I don't know. Like, so what would you be doing? So, basically, so you know how, like, if they have, if the team has to go away to, like, away games, mm-hmm. I would have to be the one to book the flights and, like, oh, okay. get them food okay. and all of that. I like, I like up. to do, like, the mini jobs yeah, that the coaches yeah, yeah, yeah. don't want to do. Like, I got it, I got it. That's the tickets and all of that. Cause like people actually love that. Like coaches don't want to be sent nah, down booking flights and all that. Like no. I'll do it for you, coach. Like, I don't even want to book like tournaments for team for for my little guys to play in. Like you know what I mean? I, I like I have a parent who's doing that now. Yeah, like She's people actually have like like passions to do that. So like that's, that's my passion. Like, that's I dope. Like, I like yeah, we gotta that. talk, man. You facts, gotta, facts. Some so, for peace stuff. Too, facts. You know I used yeah. to actually work. For, I don't know if you know NY versus NY, New York versus New York. They usually have it like every year. Oh, the Nike. The Nike. Nike. Yeah, 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 I work. Yeah, yeah. I work for them like okay. over the summer. Okay. Like, I worked for them last summer, right. so I'm, I'm trying to like work for them this summer too. That's but, what's up. I mean, bone for peace. What's up? Like yeah, I can do yeah. too. We can do that. What's all up? that, man, for sure. Like yeah. June, June first, man. We can need all all not, hands I'm on not, deck. I'm not gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna be in Florida though. Damn. I'm at a football camp. I'm trying okay. to do this football. Like, that's what's up. But you like you don't see school, too many girls wanting exactly, to do football. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like I was literally the only like female, and like my, being black is just like, oh, this is dope. My like, home girl, y'all, y'all watch um, Basketball Wives. Yeah, yeah. It depends yeah. on what yeah. season. <laughs> so, like, it, well, recent, like I don't know if you know um, Agam. Uh, OG Agam. Oh she, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, my home girl. Uh, oh, oh, OG. Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. I don't. They don't call her Agam. They, no, call, they call her OG, OG. Oh, OG. on the oh, show. They, oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Her I real name. Husband right? name. Yeah. It starts to like a K. Bad. Or but yeah, she. Um, that's my homegirl. Like you know, what I'm saying like we. Um, you know, uh, since when I was in California and all that, so seeing her on the show was like crazy. Like for me, I'm like, oh shit, she ain't really tell nobody like that. But then, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, we we text and, and and we still communicate and talk. Uh, from time to time, but um, she, she yeah, I, I'm proud of her and what she's doing. But she was doing the um, the laundry array football joint. Yes, yeah, she yeah. was. Oh, she's a beast. A beast. Facts. So like that's she's a beast, she's a oh beast for real, for real. Like she, she used to play soccer too. So like that's her leg, like strong leg. Like nah, know what I'm saying? she was so, like, smoking all of them. Yeah, she Especially really when she was that. angry in that game when yeah, think, on the who episode. died? Someone oh, died in her family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Were y'all R. watching R. recently? Um, it was like this was like last, last season. year, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Season. yeah. Cause I watched it last year. I don't watch it now, but then yeah. like I watched it last season. I, I know exactly what yeah. episode you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, I don't about. be watching it, so nah, I don't really she be was knowing. Wow, nah, she just like she was like I'm so angry and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play my heart out and yeah, she she, she, nah, she, she played everything she heart, did. soul, arm, leg, eye, everything. <laughs> Yo, I was shout like, out, oh, shout out to her, shout out to her. Yeah, but that's the only girl like I knew who like played football like that or or. Cared like about football, football like yeah. That. Like, so, like, you telling me you want to do football. In high school, I used to manage the basketball team. So, like, okay. I always wanted to manage the basketball team. But then I went to college, and I'm like, basketball is not really popping right like mm-hmm. that. See, State is all about football. So, I'm like, yeah. I'm going to just do football. And after that, I'm like, oh, nah, this sport is 
different. It's different, it's different, like, different. I, I feel like the passion for it is just OD. Like, and then the fact that like you can die from this sport is just like <laughs> these guys are no, literally, these guys <laughs> are willing to die. They are willing to no, die for this sport. This, see, and that's something. This is why I didn't play football. Like, cause my, I'm not letting my, my son play football. My football coach, uh, when I was in high school, uh, he always wanted me to play on the football team. Football season was before basketball season. Yeah, it was. But my basketball coach was like, hell no. You're not gonna, I'm not gonna let you get hurt, hurt yeah. and all that. Yeah, and it's, it's my, crazy. I mean, I didn't wind up playing any of them other two seasons anyway because mm-hmm. I broke my wrist yeah, from wrist, doing uh, nonsense. Yeah. And so I, I kind of got hurt and I got hurt from not even playing mm-hmm. basketball. But at the end of the day, my coach was like, nah, you can't play football. And I was like a little frailer, like I was much smaller and quick and all that. But um, you probably a receiver. Yeah, I would like a receiver. I used to, I wanted to be like quarterback. Quarterback, yeah, or quarterback. Don't get touched. They don't get yeah, touched. Yeah, you, know, you know what I'm saying? I, like, I was going to be like an RG3 or something like <laughs> that. Like, fake and just run. In a and run, like, yeah. yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But um, football, I love football. Like, I used to, I love two hand touch football. Like, you know what I'm saying? Flag football. Flag football. Yeah, so I, I do a, ball, the next event that I have is going to be my, my flag football. It's going to be my back to school supply drive. And that's going to be in August. So we're going to do that at uh, Brooklyn Bridge Pier Park. Oh, wow. I did it mm-hmm. last year at Brooklyn Bridge Pier Park. The view is amazing. Oh, like, oh yeah, the beautiful. That I have. beautiful. Yo, the, p- the pictures oh. that I have uh, for that event is dope as well. Like, So, yeah, that's going to be the next one. But um, June 1st, we at St. Francis College, downtown Brooklyn. First time I'm doing a uh, basketball game in Brooklyn. Um, shout out to St. Francis. Pop out. Yeah, definitely pop out. Pop out. It's going to be Thanks. crazy. We got a, Our lineup is retarded. We have over 50... Con- uh, 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 confirm uh, influencers and celebrities and all that. So and fifty is a is a nah, lot. It's a lot. Like, two like, is yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got a lot. Like you know, I'm, I'm still getting people who wanna who wanna play and stuff. But we've already had our roster mm-hmm. for a while. Like we're just like if you go to the Balling for Peace page, what we're doing is we're releasing everybody like daily, different people like mm-hmm. three and four time, three and four um people a day. Um. So yeah, just keep on watching the page, but we we're gonna have our seven day countdown coming coming up as well too, and um, I'm excited about that. We got so many different elements to the game that we added. We added the three point contest this year. I'm gonna have um, uh, the okay. Harlem Wizards do a halftime thing for the kids. They're gonna do and have them come out. Um, we got so many different performances. We got up and coming performances. We got my boy Loaded Lux. He's gonna perform um, at, at Bowling for Peace this year too. Um, but yeah, the dunk contest is something I'm looking forward to as well. I, in the three point contest, I'm not in the three point contest because it'll be <laughs> weird of me winning my own trophy yeah. that, <laughs> that I gave for everybody. I don't want to do that this yeah. year. Like, I did one year, it happened in the football game, and I won my own trophy, and it was like, yeah, uh, I don't want it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was kind of weird, but um. Um, yeah, so we got that. We got the, and then we got the celebrity game, the youth game. My team is uh, gonna be playing against a team called Boys to Men. Oh wow! You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, but we, true. but we recently we beat this team on a buzzer beater with 1.7 seconds left. Like, and one of my kids hit a, a half court. I'll show you the footage afterwards. He hit a beyond the half court shot to win the game. Wow! And ran off the court. So I like me being who I am. Like, okay. Let let us play them because I'm sure they're gonna <laughs> want their rematch. Like you know what I'm saying. So that was a that was a play. Like you know what I'm saying. And um, so that's gonna happen June first. Bowling for peace. Uh, follow me. You I'll know be there I mean? in spirit. Yeah, uh, yeah spirit's <laughs> cool. So yeah, not the airlines though. I want to get into some facts. Facts. I want to get into into some pop culture topics. Copy. And and you know some you know. So starting with you know the hustle. Obviously we all have a hustle, and that's the point of the show. It's the yeah, hustle. Yeah. Talked about Born for Peace, and now I want to talk about Nipsey Hustle. Yeah, mm, man. RP. That was, uh, yeah, RIP to Nipsey, man. RIP to Nip. We definitely talked about we experienced it a it lot. All. You know, um. I didn't think Nipsey got his closer, actually. Yeah, it did. He did. Because we, we was there. I, when he died, he died that Sunday. Yeah, and I had yeah, the show on Monday. Yeah, but like, so, but like the, before it was like two, three shows before it. We was wasn't it just the show talk- before? It was, yeah. No, it was like two, three shows before. No, nah, it was the show before. It was, it was the show, show before. Show That's why it was. No, 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 he did it. No, it was like two, three shows. It probably was a two. It was at least like no was, more than two shows. It was. Yeah. It was our show. It was like, talking really about recent, and then it happened. That's yeah. why it was just so crazy. So basically, yeah. you know, I don't want you to get it confused. I'm gonna explain exactly why we having this dialogue. Is because two shows before he actually died. 
you know, we heard about him working on the Dr. Savies documentary. Now, obviously, after all things transpired, I don't believe it had nothing to do with that, but it was just how weird, weird yeah. that we, we was talking about it. And then one of us was like, yo, you know, hopefully, you know, he's good. And well, he had said him. something. He had said something about, um, yo, if they kill me. I heard they, about they that. I heard me. about like, that. In the interview, like, you know, if they kill me for Dr. Selby. We doing, definitely Y'all better ride for me. Exactly. He said some joint like that. And um, that was Crazy. Even in the new song, yeah. Higher, with with uh with, with Khaled on Khaled, Khaled you know, and, and John Legend. John Legend, yeah, I just saw so the video he, last he night. Said, I can't. He's it was a line where he said, um He did say something. something with a, in broad day, like getting killed in broad yeah. day. Fuck like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nice. Did you watch the video? Day, um I did watch the video. So yeah, it was it was it was just weird. Yeah. But like he, Nipsey is uh I that was somebody I kinda like you know, looked up to like you know I what I'm saying see, as far as the hustle mentality, exactly yeah, like, the hustle mentality. Like that's I, why I brought it up. Just being yourself and, and betting on yourself against all odds. Like there are people who literally think that they need someone else to to do um, what they're what they're here to do. You know exactly. what I'm saying? I feel like you remember how I was talking and I, was, I told you like after playing Division One and everything after your coaching. You, you, you don't know, like you don't know your vision, and you don't know where you're supposed to go. But like, I feel like I'm so aligned with my purpose and w what I'm here for. Yeah, it's it's insane now. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's like this is what I want to do. This is what I'm here. This is what I'm so passionate about. And when I see other people just making like stuff, and it's just like, yo, dude, like that's kind of whack, bro. Mm -hmm. Like my whole thing is, I inspire to inspire, right? Others, right? But just don't copy the whole style. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, exactly. that's kind of whack. Like, you know what I'm saying? But be yourself, but do you in your lane. Like, people exactly. be having lanes, but thinking they have to they could jump, jump into, into other, other lanes. lanes. My exactly. whole thing, I always I say this too. Stay in your lane until it opens up. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could stay in this lane. It, eventually, it's going to open up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm in year five, what I'm doing. And, and a lot of the news that I'm going to break at Bowling for Peace is going to be like, life-changing stuff you know what i'm saying so it's like you work hard for a yeah. reason you know what i'm saying not just to quit people be thinking about these quick cash grabs and trying to just and that's not the way it's supposed to be like you know you stay down to come up and that's something that nipsey was doing as well too you and know people what I mean? get jealous like they do obviously like this cat over here eric holder who just got indicted by the jury you know people get jealous you know what i'm yeah. saying and i feel like instead of getting jealous of somebody you know, get your own grind. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, be inspired. Be inspired. Yeah. Be inspired, and get inspired your own man. Grind. Get your own grind. You know what I'm saying? You gotta. You can't. Can't let uh. You you, you can't let what other people are doing and how how fast they doing or, or not that fast or whatever, make you feel like you need to be doing that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I look at it like this. This is exactly how I look at it. Any black person that make it. I would never hate on them. Why? Because that's one black person that's paving doors for other black other, people. Other, and we yeah. know how America yeah. is mm -hmm. when it comes to doors being opening for black people. Yo, real yeah. talk, like, if, if you even think about it, like, slavery wasn't that long ago. Like, we just was able to start voting and stuff. Like, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, the se segregation wasn't that long ago. It wasn't like, you know, like, like 60 years. In yeah. the 60s and all that, like, people still yeah. getting hosed down and all yeah. that. Like, we, like people, people think some of the times, like, yo, we uh we as a people been on we haven't been on like you know what yeah. i'm saying like and that's why like it's still things are still happening to us but when we do it to ourselves it's like yo come on bro like yeah, we're like, better than how that, how man. you do that to that man like you know what i'm saying exactly. who's trying to better his community exactly. and all. i don't care what beef you got money he owed or whatever whatever it could have been like life is too precious for that you know what i'm saying like yeah. You don't get another one. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever happens when we gone from here, I want to keep going. I don't want to find out right yeah, now. I want to exactly. keep going. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, uh, I don't know how religious any of y'all are, but, you know, we all have our beliefs and everything like that. But I, I, I still believe that we'd rather be here than anywhere exactly. else. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we got to keep pushing it. And, and, like, when you positive, love is, is bigger than hate. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The amount of stuff you can get through showing love will always outgrow hate. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Or always overshadow hate. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's different 
When somebody really passionate and really rock with you, and they really like support you, it goes a long way. It you does. feel it a lot more than mm-hmm. somebody who just hating yeah, on you in the background, that. looking like yeah. yo, I'm a. Uh, mm-hmm. It's different. It's different, and you can feel it too. It's a, it's an energy. It's a vibe that you just feel like yo. I really rock with this person. Or I don't rock with this person. Yeah. You don't rock with me. Stay far away from me. Like seriously. Yeah. I want to know all three of y'all thoughts on um, the Steve Harvey situation that's going on. So he's losing a lot of shows right now. Yeah. And he made some comments where, you know, some people took it offensive. Some mm-hmm. people was like, you know, he's right about the sleep. You know, um, rich people don't sleep less than eight hours. And how, you know, there's people making decisions on your life. So some people thought he was looking down on poor people. Some people, you know, thought what he was saying is actually factual, trying to, like, you know, Bring, you know, you know what I'm saying. Which I thought about that. I don't think he... Because Steve Harvey, to me, I would say something about Steve Harvey real quick. You know, there's times where I do agree with what he got to say. Yeah. (laughs) And there's some times where I feel like there's certain things that he says and does that I'm not, like, I don't like the way how he say it. Like, you know, like, oh, you know, getting rid of dreads, you know, having to look good for the white man, you know what I'm saying? Or, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand what he do with the scared straight, you know, to try to, like, help black people not get in jail. I respect stuff like that. But, like, you know, just on the interview with Monique, that was something that, you know, that was brought up after this. You know, the integrity with the money. And how that is not the you know it's not black or white it's the money game yeah. it's certain stuff that he says that I don't like but I want to know what y'all thought about you know this situation. Um, when it comes to Steve, like you said, when it comes to Steve Harvey, like I'm real iffy with him. Like like you said, like sometimes you agree with him, sometimes you like don't agree with him. I just feel like some things that he say he just needs to rethink it. But with like the whole sleep thing, like I just feel like it's just. You know, whatever floats your boat. Like, if the person feels comfortable with doing certain things a specific way, then let them do it that way. And if they feel like they can get to success that way, then, like, who are you to judge? Like, I'm a huge person on that. Like, who are you to judge? Who am I to judge? Like, yo, like, you ain't God. So it's just like, I don't know. With that whole situation, I don't, yeah. He's just real iffy. But he's a real iffy guy to me. Like, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Because a lot of people actually say, like, I was watching a, uh, segment on I think it was What's Your Why or something like that mm-hmm. with some coach and he was even saying people don't sleep like if you want to get something you don't sleep so I'm just like I mean I don't think he was wrong with saying that I don't know I mean I sleep a lot and I kind of um... broke people sleep a lot too <laughs> like, he, like my whole thing on that like people people will try to make something in to anything into something like you know yeah. what I'm saying people are gonna say anything to really like try to you know Sounds to like make a, a story like you yeah. know what i'm saying this industry is crazy yo like real talk like you can say yo i think that like you can't even talk about like gender or sex anymore oh, like yeah, nothing. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, like if you say hard. anything if you oh, say yo, yeah, yo i think there should be a boys room and a girls they room. will be right here at like, the studio like, at so the what about the, you know, <laughs> like it's like wait yeah, i didn't i just said i think gender. it's cool to have a boys room and a girls <laughs> room yeah. like you can't say that oh, you yeah. are a sexist you are, exactly like no, whoa no, whoa no, whoa no, like it's crazy like you can't say anything you're supposed to have freedom of speech and it's like that's just getting thrown out the way in this like right this time right now Oh, yeah. It's like, you know, what can I say? You know what I'm saying? You got to be, it's mad sense. You got to be careful yeah. what you say because you don't know what's going to happen to you or your podcast or your shows that you have. You could lose everything like that because yeah. see what they did to Farrakhan. You know what I'm saying? Like they banned this guy from social media. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They banned him from social media? Yeah, they banned him from Instagram for life. Like all these social medias. And yeah, you might not agree that's, with everything it, 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 that he say, but. that's And that's another thing. We got to start, like the social media stuff, you got to. Like get out of it, like wheeze, like yeah. out from from social media and have a, a real platform. Like you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. Like I hope I don't get banned for this Instagram. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. But like I'm really we just been, started up this podcast. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just, yeah like, <laughs> but I'm pushing people to my own website. I'm pushing people to like places that they can get like in, like my emails and all that other mm-hmm. stuff, yeah. so that I can really connect with these people. Like you know what I'm saying on a no, whole nother level. Like and, and nine times out of ten. Like the gram and stuff is for show. Like it you know what I'm saying? I don't really the, the people it's who like coming out it's 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 it's, it's 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 literally like a bio for you. That's yeah. what it's supposed to be. Like people are here 
doing it. Yo, you ain't post this. You ain't post that. Like, yo, bro, like, like relax, I'm post man. Let me post go. my radio yo, business you, you and mind me, your business. You put you me know? in my store. You put me in a story. they not on your main. Look at my main page. I don't really post anything like that on my main page. Like, people like, yo, you still do? Yeah, I do Balling for Peace on Balling for Peace page. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. go check that out. You're not following? Make sure you go follow Balling for Peace. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Got you. But Got my you. personal Facts. page is my personal page. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, I don't want to be, uh, like, People who have all them damn flyers all that all over their page, nah. So I promote Instagram them. Instagram just look tacky. You know what I mean? It looks disgusting. <laughs> it looks disgusting. You know yes. what I'm saying? All you promoters who got flyers all over, nobody's watching. No. Nobody's watching. <laughs> so Zero. One, one more thing. One more thing as we come to a close. Um, obviously the documentary for Wu Tang Clan um came out on Showtime. I gotta watch it. You know, I gotta watch it too. I'm not even gonna lie. But the reason why I brought that up is because I want to know where Wu Tang ranks in your top groups of all time. Wu Tang, who are what other groups are there? You got say like you got the Locks, you got Onyx, you got, you got uh, this Outcast. is hip hop, right? Outcast, you know, Outcast isn't a group; they're a duo. You know what <laughs> what they're like, um, you got Bone um, Thugs and Harmony, Bone Thugs, okay, Fugees. Yeah, you got a lot of groups. <laughs> like, yeah. um, they in the top five. The top you know five. what I mean? In the top five. I mean. You got G Unit. That's one yeah. of my favorites. Like, you know what I'm Yo, saying? Like, what's that rap group with Flavor um, Flav? Flavor Flav. Oh, oh, oh uh, a Public uh, Enemy. Yeah, yes. Public Enemy. P. Yeah, they definitely, they had a big impact. They had I a big impact. In fact, NWA, like, yes. you know what I'm saying? But I, I would say they in the top five groups. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe top three. Like, Wu-Tang yeah. had a real big they impact. impact on hip-hop. Like, they had mm -hmm. a huge impact on hip-hop. People still wearing their shirts. Yeah. You the know? locks, too. Like, yeah. yo, I was just up there at Hot 97 when we, uh, and uh, Sheik Luke, she was up there, like you know what I'm saying, and he might be coming to Bowling for Peace as well too. So that's gonna be dope. But uh, yeah, I definitely Wu Tang will be in the in the top five. You know what I'm saying? And they're, they're top just three, like the, top just three. like the characters. Like my guy's old dirty bastard. That's my yeah. dude right there. <laughs> I mean that guy, that guy give it to you raw. Like you yeah. know, he was himself. Look at his album cover. Like yeah. full his food stamp. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that's my dude right there. In fact, that's a, that was a uh, he was somebody who. Said what he had to say, spoke his exactly. mind. You know what he I'm went saying? on a stage on a, on a award show. That's where Kanye got that from. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. With the Taylor Swift, you know it's that was ODB. Kanye. You know he did it right. You know Kanye's what I'm saying? The widow. Yeah, facts, facts. Yeah. I don't know what happened to Kanye. Somebody please. I love this music, but he was always weird. Like I don't know if you, you if you weird. if you go on uh, YouTube and you um put Kanye West prank. Uh, it used to be a show called Prank on MTV. Yeah, with um, Ashton, with Ashton Kutcher. Kutcher and. He was pranking Kanye, right? And Kanye like took his uh, took his stuff and started running like, yo, he like, yo, chill, bro. It was just like a plank. He like, nah. He was wilding, like you know what I'm saying. Like even after they knew it was a prank, he was just just like going insane, like you know what I mean. This is my this is my stuff. This is my. <laughs> like going crazy. And I'm like, yo, bro, relax, bro. It's a prank, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. Like you know, but Kanye been Kanye. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, like nice. certain people. Like the media, like even with like, I don't want to keep going to different topics. Like even with R. Kelly, people been knew R. Kelly was a pedophile. Yeah, yeah. Like now, yeah. and now they want to exactly. bring it up now, like thirty years later. Like even like all the stuff coming out with Michael. Jack like they're just trying to honestly. Like I don't know what's whatever happened that happened. It been happened too. Like you know what I'm saying? They knew exactly. about it, but now they want to bring all this stuff. Why? Like, you know exactly. what I'm saying? To get Bill it's Cosby. a distraction. I didn't believe you made 37 white girls. I mean, come on. 37, you Bill Cosby? Yo, Please. Well, Sorry. you can't talk about that because you get in trouble because you're saying, yo, really? You really did that? Yeah, but yeah, even back I, in the days, in the 70s and all that, yeah. pill, they used to pop pills. They used to do all that stuff. Like, that was like the thing. Like, yo, here. Yeah. But now, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like saying somebody taking a molly. Like, you put them on a molly and like, that, at the time, people was taking mollies and doing all that stuff. So imagine doing what's the the end thing at the time and like they're like yo he drugged me and he like did that like yeah. now you bring it dude's exactly. 80 something like, you know like, it's like okay come on son dude can't even see you don't even know what's going on exactly like <laughs> what what are we doing like you know but r kelly's finished like he's been finished for a minute like you know exactly. what i'm saying like music wise all that like now you like you, you it's like charging somebody for something you've been new michael jackson you're trying to come at michael jackson like now like exactly. when the dude can't even defend himself, like yeah, you know what I'm like saying? Like all these stories the coming, yeah. like these stories are coming out out of nowhere. Like yo, come on, son. Like that's, that's swag. Swag. I got Toronto. 
get Saturday, finish it off. Yeah. In I, six. They come back home. They, you know. Four in a row, four bro. In a that row. would be crazy. Kawhi Leonard, the best player in the playoffs. That's a year. fact. That's a fact. He, he, uh, uh, he's doing a lot. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think that uh, – I think that that's dope. You know what I'm saying? Like Kawhi landed out there doing his thing. You know what I mean? And uh, Michael Jordan. I think, like, I think it's good for basketball. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Is. Like, I, I want I would want a team to beat the Warriors. You know what I'm saying? That whole all that other stuff that's going on. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's that whole buddy buddy ball is whack to me. Kevin Durant going to the Warriors is whack to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he like, that was corny. That's a corny move, bro. You he go gotta come to New York, man. He got to leave there. He got to leave there to save his legacy. But anyway, like, you go to a team that won 73 games and, and went 73 and 9, beat the Bulls record, went to the uh, to final. And also, you were up 3 1 against them to go to the finals. And you, uh, and then you, <laughs> the wrap it up. We got to wrap it up. Yeah, we got to yeah, wrap it yeah, up. Yeah, Definitely but, go to Bowling for Peace. Yeah, yeah, June, yeah. Um, June 2nd, right? June 1st. First. June, June 1st. First. 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 June 1st. First. At St. Francis peace. College. Yeah. In Brooklyn. Get shout Brooklyn. out. Shout you guys out. Bowling for Peace. June 1st. B A L L I N, the number four, and the word peace. Shout uh, H205, Instagram. We here, yeah. Oh, promote your Instagram real quick. Um, uh, they call me Jen underscore two ends. I don't know how to. I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's um, that. Instagram Melanie Allure. Melanie with two ends. Well, Melanie underscore Allure. Um, so yeah. That's what's up. And real Lil, the real uh, real dot Lil <laughs> underscore. Or follow my business page, real underscore Lil TV. And we out. We out. See y'all Peace. next week.